Okay, today is January 29th. Uh, just finished getting this all set up, so it's just kind of on saw horses instead of uh, tables because I need to uh, uh, to get into you know these spots here and, and stuff that uh, I wouldn't be able to do because the the screw head is on the on the bottom. So all the uh, boards are taken out and it's being supported by uh, saw horses. And I also took the time to kind of bring this farther back from the door than it was before because it's, uh, uh, you know, in a few months, uh, it'll be time to put the engine on. And, uh, and it's just, there's plenty of room over there anyway. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get uh, get back to work on this. Okay, I've uh, got my heater running there because it's kind of cold in here. Uh, I got... Uh, uh, all of the shims out, uh, that piece, uh, that triangular piece that was in the middle there, that slides under there and then of course attaches there. Um, so that's all out, uh, the shim on that side is out, and everything is unscrewed on here. And the reason you can get away with that is because it's also held on uh, the, the back there, so there's nothing's gonna like fall apart if you take those bottom screws out. So, uh, everything is out that needs to be out, uh, about to cut the flooring out and hopefully uh, get that in there uh, today. Okay, uh, I got the floor uh, cut up and uh, uh, slid in. Uh, wasn't too difficult uh, getting it to slide under uh, under those was probably the most difficult that and you know it's a little bit floppy so you gotta put a bunch of uh, um, like shims in the in there to get it over top of the that one angle that it that it lies on uh, so that was a little bit of a chore but other than that it was just uh, these have to be really loose otherwise you'll uh, it's like uh, it's way too tight so uh, uh, just loosen those and it goes uh, in fairly easily uh, you may have to fight with it, but uh, I got it in. There's a little bit of a scar there where I used a pair of pliers to, to get a little bit of uh, purchase on it. But uh, other than that, uh, the the back side was like a sixteenth of an inch too long. So uh, uh, I put it. Uh, I just kind of pulled the back up a little bit and, and ran over the back of it with a uh, uh, angle grinder. Uh, and just shaved off a, a, enough to, for it to lay perfectly flat up against uh, the, the curve there. So uh, this is in. Uh, none of the screws are in yet. Uh, so that's uh, still to do. i got to make sure everything is lined up before I start uh, drilling holes. And some of it isn't. Uh, so that's, that's uh, left to do. And of course, riveting all the, the sides and... Uh, the back here uh, uh, I'm probably gonna put some form of either plywood or fiberglass board over top of there like it's it's kind of stiff but uh, I'd feel much uh, much safer with something a little bit more uh, sturdier than just the, the aluminum by itself it's it seems a little bit on the flimsy side so uh, that's where it sits today uh, I probably won't get back at it until the weekend maybe it depends on the weather too uh, i may get back to, back to it uh, in a day or two uh, depending on the weather so uh, the only thing that's left uh, the entire fuselage kit is um, or the kit to, the fuselage package is to uh, uh, finish screwing this back down and uh, and riveting everything and then it's on to the the landing gear woohoo Okay, today is uh, Wednesday, February 2nd, and I just came out tonight not to really do a whole lot, but just start uh, screwing everything back in uh, through the, the flooring. Uh, I've got that uh, engine mount in uh, as well as that one. This one I've actually finished uh, screwing the rest of the, the gusset in. Uh, that one I've still got to do, but uh, it's kind of time to to call it a day or a night so uh, probably on the weekend I'll come back out and you know finish all of this uh, you know that's still got to be put in completely 
as do those and that one on that side uh, so yeah this one uh, that corner is complete but everything else <laughs> uh is uh, left to do except for that one uh, engine mount that's actually all uh, put in so i'll get back to it uh, on the uh, on the weekend okay today is saturday february 5th and uh i just came out and finished uh, screwing everything in so this side is all done uh this brace is uh, completely uh, screwed in, at least insofar as, uh, you know, the holes that were already there. Um, so this uh, edge is done. So uh, I've got that uh, edge and middle part to do on, on both sides. Uh, and uh, this here, um, this part here takes quite a while uh, just because, you know, you've got all this nonsense to deal with. And my arms are just long enough to to uh, to do that. So if you're super tall, that might be an advantage for you. If you're super short, then you're gonna have to have somebody help you because I can just barely reach it, and I'm 5'11". So uh, that is that. I'll be really happy once I I get all of this uh, stuff done in the front here because uh, <laughs> it's not easy. It's so uh, cramped and uh, difficult to get in there. Uh, one thing I would mention is uh, bring a vacuum with you because now that the floor is in, uh, the the uh, shavings when you drill everything out have no place to go. So you, it's a good idea to uh, you know keep everything cleaned up because uh, you'll just have a pile of shavings everywhere and they'll get underneath this and everything if you don't clean them up. So yeah, I would uh, keep your vacuum <laughs> handy uh, to, to clean that up as you drill the, the, the flooring out and everything. So... Uh, Next job, of course, is to finish up that little bit in the front there. Screw those gr grommets that you can't see that are underneath there, there and there, and then uh, rivet the, the sides and the uh, back. And I still haven't made a decision on what type of flooring I'm going to put in here. It's probably just going to be plain old uh, uh, marine plywood. Uh, I'm looking at carbon fiber and uh, fiberglass depending on the the strength of something that large um, and the uh, and the cost if it's prohibitive i'll just use uh, marine plywood and, and call it a day uh, just cut it to a big square and you're done so that's what uh i uh completed just and this took like a couple several hours just getting in there and drilling everything and cleaning it up and uh deburring it and wrapping your arms in through this uh, menagerie here so uh, it is <clears throat> time consuming i may come i'll probably come back out tomorrow and, and finish all this and then uh, start looking at uh, flooring options because I, I don't really want to do a whole i don't, really don't want to do a whole lot of walking on this i don't know if you can see from the video but it's i mean you probably could but <laughs> i really don't want to uh to walk on that it just doesn't seem like it would be uh, it's terribly uh, rigid well it's not terribly rigid uh so uh before i do any walking on it i'll put some uh, some plywood in there even if it's just garbage plywood so uh, that's it for uh, that's it for today okay today is sunday february 6th and just about all of this is done now. Uh, figured I'd make, finish up the, the video here because it's just some uh, riveting on the one side that, that's left to do. So all this is uh, uh, bolted down now. Uh, all the, uh, the rear corner is all put back now. And you can see all of the riveting along the edge is uh, done. Uh, minus that spot right there where the uh, uh, the bucket for the uh, uh, the main gear goes so it's uh, riveted all along the edge uh, right up to uh, to there and uh, I still have this to do but it's getting close to uh, time to head out so uh, I'm gonna exit uh, without doing the rest uh, those marks are actually a quarter of an inch uh, too shallow so uh, 
uh, if you can see on, well, I guess I got it right, well, no, over here, you can see I, uh, I did the first one and realized, okay, that's about a quarter of an inch off, and then uh, did the rest of them the, the proper uh, uh, position. So the rest of them are exactly a quarter of an inch from the uh, edge of the floor, as are uh, all of these. Uh, these marks need to be uh, updated because they're a uh, quarter of an inch too shallow. So uh, the flooring is in, uh, it's all put back okay. underneath, uh, underneath here. Uh, all the shims are out, replaced by actual floor, and life is good. Uh, other than riveting uh, uh, this side here, uh, I can, other than riveting uh, this side here that's left to, to do, uh, I can start uh, working on the uh, landing gear. So that's very cool. Uh, as far as construction goes, uh, I guess the only note, uh, the thing that I found the easiest to do was to uh, drill about five or six holes and then uh, put my hand up under here and like you can't do it now because it's all secured, but I'd put my uh, hand under here and kind of bulge it up a little bit and run the vacuum along there to suck out all the, the stuff from drilling the holes for the rivets so there's no... Uh, there's no like uh, medical metal particles underneath in between there, so that's a bit of a chore because you got to uh, you know drill a few holes and then vacuum. I guess you could do the, all the holes and then vacuum. I just didn't do it that way. But anyway, uh, 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 drilling all those holes, uh, uh, you'd be surprised how much uh, metal particles come up uh, when you vacuum up against the, the the crack there. It sucks a lot of junk out. So. Uh, yeah, I just found uh, the easiest thing to do was drill five or six holes, uh, push it up, uh, suck all the, the junk out, put the rivets in, and rinse, lather, repeat. So this is all completely done except for that one side. And so next weekend, it's uh, 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 the first task will probably be uh, putting that uh, that bucket in it has to be uh, cut to size uh, there was some talk about possibly putting the uh, uh, the metal piece uh, in for the uh, the tail wheel but I honestly don't really think I I'm ever gonna do that uh, you know there's an insurance issues with the with tail draggers and I, I don't have a tail dragger endorsement so I'd have to uh, spend the time to, to get that uh, it's mainly just the insurance cost it's just, it's it's another extra expense extra work for something I'm probably not going to do so uh, I think I'm just going to stick with the the the, the tricycle gear uh, and uh, and just do that uh, which means I also won't bother putting the, the plate on the end so uh, may change my mind but for now that's that's I think that's what I'm gonna do so all this thing is completely done except for those rivets along the edge and then uh, it's on to the uh, the landing gear so that is the uh, progress for February uh, February 6th <laughs> uh, 2022 thanks for watching